Hi everybody, it's Mr. Bates here from Mr. Bates Creates. Today, we're gonna to be doing some maths and we're gonna be finding how we can add up to find the difference. All you're gonna to need today is a piece of paper and a pen. Let's go. When we take away a two digit number from a two digit number, it can be a little bit challenging to start with and it certainly can look a little bit intimidating, which means a bit scary. But looking at this sum here, 53 take away 34, Let's see if we can break it down and work out how we can add up to find out what the takeaway sum would be. So we've got 34 and we've got 53. We're going to start off by putting 34 on our number line here at the bottom. 34. Ah, there we go. And Mr. Frog is sat there ready to go. 34. Super. Now we need to get to 53. So we need to do some frog jumps to get there. Now, the way that we frog jump up is we jump to the next 10. Once we get to the next 10, we can then jump in 10s until we get close enough to the number that we need to get to. So, 34 to the nearest 10. Well, 34 to the next 10, 34 mm, using our number bonds, 6 and 4. Well, that would be 40 the next 10 after 34, which gives us a jump of 6. Hey, there we go. Now, we've got to 40. We now need to jump to the nearest 10 to our number. Our number is 53, so our nearest 10 is going to be mm, 50, of course. So, how many jumps between 40 and 50? Hmm, well, that's one big jump of 10. Here we go. <laughs> hey, now, 50 to 53. Now, that's easy. Because we can work out 50 to 53 just by counting up. 50, 51, 52, 53. Well, that's a jump of three. <laughs> hey, there we go. So we've made our jumps of six, ten, and three to count up to get to our number. Now, the mass hasn't finished yet. We now need to find out how much they've jumped. So we need to add them together. Six, add ten, add three gives us the answer of 19. So, 53, take away 34, it's got to give us the answer of 19. Brilliant! Okay, now it's your go at home or at school. All you need is a piece of paper and a pen. Now, when it comes to drawing a number line, we need to think about the two numbers we've got and the smallest must go first. That's really important. Right, uh, what can I give you then? Two digit, take away two digit. I'm going to give you uh, 32 take away, uh, let's go for 14. Yeah, just to make it really tricky for you. <laughs> right, well, we're going to start with that smallest number and we're going to work our way up. Smallest number is... You got it, of course, it's 14. I'm going to put that down here on my number line. And I'm going to draw a line that goes all the way up to me here. And I'm going up to 32. Right, first jump, 14 to the next 10. What's that going to be? Mm, of course, it's going up to 20. And that is a jump of... Six. Well done if you're keeping up with this. Now, 20 to the next 10. What's that going to be? Of course, it's 30. Well done if you're working on your whiteboard and your piece of paper along with me on this one. And then 30 to 32 is a jump of two. Of course it is. Well done. Right, now we need to add them all up to get our answer. So 10... Add 6, add 2. Right, well, 10 in my head, and then add on the 6 and the 2. That's going to give me 18. So, 32, take away 14 equals 18. Brilliant stuff. Give yourself a big marshmallow clap. Excellent stuff. Well done, gang. That was counting up to find the difference. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button because there's lots more lessons coming your way here from Mr. Bates Crates. I'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.